Hello there guys, my name is Jay or Day and welcome to another episode of the Imperion Spotlights where today we are looking at the P2 by Dicky on the workshop. Now this is going to be a long video because I've got lots to cover because if none of you have already seen this thing, it is a level, well a class 105 ship. This is some serious doo do this ship it's just bonkers i mean if i move from front to back on this thing it takes me like five minutes alone i mean look at the size and complexity of this thing it is just bewildering to me i it is my god i looked at this and i was like okay it's not gonna be that big not gonna be that big it's no bother it's no bother and then I sort of I sort of loaded it up and it took about a minute and a half just to load up properly and just to render everything out and I I was I was just my god it is just truly a beast of unparalleled craziness like you need drugs to replicate this and it's just insane I'm even losing my voice it's that bonkers I'm not even sure where to start on this thing so what I'm going to do is I might start with these hangers and sort of work my way through the ship. Um, but yeah, this this is absolutely insane. And what we'll do is we'll actually go front to back and I'll actually try and show you some of the ship and go along it. But this thing is like on the same sort of complexity as like a citadel. Like an actual city that flies. It is just cra crazy. It's just my god. Look look at just and the detail and the paintwork and just everything about this is just time and, and effort and blood sweat and probably tears because I could imagine something went some things have gone wrong while building this because that's that's it's always a bother when you have ships like this and you're building and you may forget to turn your planes on and off, your your mirror planes off or something and you, you end up mirroring something you didn't want to. But I love all the details, especially these freaking engines at the back. They just look super, super, super insane. And we've got these massive hangers at the back as well. And being as I've just gone front to back, I'm going to start from the back now. We're going to work our way through. And we might go from the top. Is that is that wise? How much is at the top? Um, hmm. Now let's work bottom to top. We won't, we'll try and avoid staircases and, and, and work through the levels. But uh, yeah, this is the first hanger. Um, you'll have to excuse how swishy my. Uh... There we go. All you do is gonna jump down. Um, I'm gonna fly through. Here we go. Oh. And this is inside the first hanger. My. God, it's actually quite trippy when you're moving around quite quickly in this. So I'm going to try and keep myself on slow mouse movements just because. But this is the first hanger, and I love the lighting that's going on in here. I wish it were on motion timers, motion sensors, whatever, because obviously this thing is generating quite a lot of lag. I'm getting 11 frames a second in this thing, and uh, it's uh, it's truly insane. But uh, as we move along, oof. Um, I mean that was just looking at the roof brings me down to 11 when I look back down on the floor it brings me back up to 30 so I'm going to try and avoid looking at big areas all at once but we have like a lot of empty rooms because I, from what I'm led to believe this thing isn't finished or it's not quite there and there have been quite a lot of um, updates and stuff on it um, so we'll probably find a lot of empty rooms it's no bother, it's just something that we're going to come across because ships like this cannot be kitted out to their fullest extent. I mean, if you look at it in here, it is just, again, work in progress sort of stuff. But I just wanted to show you this because it is just pure insanity, the scale of this. It's like a true ship that you would fly around in and have hundreds of probably thousands of other ships you know, flying in and out of it, and it is just like a space station of its own that moves, it's just, my god, and then walking through these other rooms, which, this is, yet again, more hangar space, and if you look, we've just got these clean black sort of floors, and we've got all this space allocated that can be used for spaceships, and we've even got like a bit of an office here, which I think is like a flight controller's office, 
And I'll open these doors. And yeah, this is like a planning room. Okay, I'm not too keen on the decor inside the rooms. Um, it's a little bit strange, a little bit weird. Um, I'm not sure whether everything's been completely finished yet or what. But it's it's one of those absolute craze balls builds, and it's. I wouldn't. I'll be honest. I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't know how. Yeah. I. I don't know really. Um, if this is a team effort build or what. But my God, we've got some little rooms on the sides which are for thrusters, from what I'm led to believe. Um, and then we've also got like a nice canteen area up the top, which runs along the top. And then we've got some more space here which hasn't been dealt with yet. Um, I think the reason why that hasn't been dealt with is because of this yeah, space along with these bits. Because these bits obviously are placed upside down um, to allow you to place stuff on top. So you won't be able to place things on the bottom. So kind of working with and in some respects against Imperion because that's kind of screwed up a lot of the space and what you'd use the space for here. But uh, no, so we've got all these like seating areas, plants, more screens and things. And then um, we've kind of got these nice little walkways heading down. These continue all the way along, and then we have a bit of like a food court sort of thing here. So loads and loads of space for people to eat. Um, obviously, this would be all your crew and stuff. I uh, I kind of would see this craft again. I I would see this bay being more for um, just general tradesmen and stuff like that coming here, and maybe just visitors of, to the ship, refugees, maybe something like that, so they can come here eat whatever else and do all that gubbins now then we have some other places to visit because we are heading up some stairs as I said I wouldn't but I am for these bits so I'll just try and avoid going into some of the other rooms um, but what we have here is we have another deck for other stuff which if we walk all the way down here we have all these O2 tanks as well Jesus how many O2 tanks does it actually take to fill this thing um, uh, where is it statistics um, so this would take oxygen needed to fill it needs 158,341 oxygen to fill it has 62 oxygen tanks and 26 oxygen stations with 88 ventilators my god that means at least 88 different rooms so there's a lot there is there is just a lot here we have like fuel storage over here I think it's very open um, we have like a bit of fuel storage over here and uh, we have rooms oh my god that go off into other rooms holy sweet Jesus well, okay more fuel storage for all that moving oh my god oh my god um, there is one thing that's clearly apparent to me at the moment because of its scale there's there's a lot done with this and there's 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 a lot of like wasted space. Like you look at this corridor here and it's kind of like, yeah, we've got lots of fuel because just because and, and we we've stopped here because we don't want to put any more on and, and we're, we're gonna waste all this space along the sides. There is a lot of that round here and I I'm not sure on the decor because it's very wishy washy with the colours. The exterior is really well done. It's just the interior kind of is lacking a little bit. And I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on that because to me I hate it when a ship is like good on the outside, bad on the inside because it's just it lets it down because the interior of a ship is something that I always look forward to just because it's the interior. It's the heart of the ship. And we've got more access up there to go and to do to to go more fuel storage there's the, the amount of fuel in this thing is completely outrageous but uh, we have a door here which I actually walked past coming up here to go into that office um yeah and we're back in here again now now I think most of this will be mirrored so everything I'm looking at on the one side will be the same on the other side I'm having a little bit of an issue with walking as well walking is kind of a struggle upstairs and I think that's because of the amount of um, gravity that is on this on this craft because if you notice I'm actually struggling to, to to actually walk up those and again we've got gravity generators dotted around here there and everywhere and I think that's causing a lot of issue for it because I'm being pulled down obviously but no my god this is truly insane 
And again, more rooms that aren't really sure what they're used for. I think I'm kind of going to get the, the the idea with this craft is is just there's going to be a lot of space wasted. So when I look at stuff, I'm not going to necessarily go and look at it in detail because it's not the best use of my time. Um, just because obviously it's just empty space. And you don't want me to review a, a, a whole video about a lot of wasted space in a craft, I'm sure. And if you look at how high I jump then as well, it doesn't really... Uh, I don't really jump that high. but So this is the second deck. So this is where ships could park themselves here. And then obviously above this we have... Whoa. He's like generated some massive fans and stuff. Made it look proper industrial. And down here this is where those food courts are. Underneath here we have just lots of computers, cryo chambers, other things. Maybe processing of people. Stuff like that. As we get up to the top this is like a bit of a just an upper deck walkway that is probably used for the uh, the actual crew of the craft and not the visitors to the craft. And then in there we have some computers and things like that as well. The warp drive stuff. And then we have this area which this is or should be the exit of this hangar on the other end. So if I open this up, yeah. So with inside the craft, we have an external hangar that you can drop your ship and then they move on into here if they need to. So we've got that, which is it's quite nice, actually. I like that that space that we've got. There's a lot of space that we can obviously park ships on. And these doors, that's obviously the airlock to get through these. And then we obviously have the airlock continuing on up there to um, pass the other door so you can get through those without needing to open the first door. So that's pretty cool. Let's shut that back down. There we go. And then we can head on up. So this would, as as I just said, this is that door that takes us out there. That's pretty cool. We've got some nicely placed turrets as well for, de for defence. So if anything were to get in here from the back end of the ship, obviously we've got defence for internally. So if anything gets a bit hairy, we can shoot people and, uh, and, and calm the situation down. Now then, we've got yet again more rooms full of like tanks maybe for food I don't know um, they got like raised upon platforms and then pushing on through here we've got some cargo crates for whatever purpose you need them to serve then we have more stairs leading up to more empty rooms which overlook the the which overlook the sort of the hangar area over there which these are probably be for the operators of the hangar doors to allow them to see if people are sort of, you know, wanting to get into the next door or whatever and open the doors for them. So like the gatekeeper's sort of quarters. Uh, what is up here? That is the question. Because we need to sort of find the cockpit soon. And we got This is that room that we looked at through the, uh, the shutters over here. And we do have a nice walkway here which takes us along and this is linking up everything to so we can go through all these doors and walk onto the walkways. This is running again central straight away through the, the main sort of artery of the ship so you can get places quite quickly as a crewman and you've got all the controls here to control certain aspects of the craft. So this ship from what I'm finding so far is going to need a lot of crew members. Like a lot of crew are, are going to be seriously needed for this just because of just the general working of it. I mean, you imagine opening all these doors and, and having people to control everything because that's what a large amount of the ships are like in sci-fi films anyway and stuff. Like They have lots of people that just push one button a whole, for, for the whole day where they uh, you know open the doors and check clearances and things like that. But, oh my God, there's just too much space. My God, this is like the lower deck. This is above that deck I showed you just for... Um, ships and this actually looks partly constructed I'm not sure what's going on here whether the idea is to make it look partly constructed obviously to get away with um, not uh, not requiring to I don't know it's like it's like one of the things it's partly constructed to, for, for its looks but also because it's probably a bit cheaper and a bit less taxing on your computer we have these tanks over here, which I was kind of curious about on the pictures, because I think they look like um, life vessels or something. 
Um, you see them on boats, like they're orange though, and they do kind of look like life boys or something that you could perhaps jump onto and, and get away in. So they're pretty cool either way. I like them. And we have these rooms here, which I'm not sure what what they're for. Ugh, I can't get up any of the staircases here. Yeah. Okay. So this is like trading. These these are these are like trade points. I think. Um, and we've got lots of like battery cells here and stuff. Maybe this is like also for float control. I like how every room's got at least one plant. It's a nice touch. And we move down here, and what we got up the top, we just got more walkway access to a door that leads us into this central pillar, which again, I'm not sure what is in here. It's a very prettily done place uh, section. Oh wow. Only concern with this is obviously these things I think are uh, uh, low oxygen through, so you'd need a suit to be in here. I mean, there are ventilators, but the ventilator isn't on, um, so I'm guessing this thing hasn't been filled with oxygen. <laughs> if we go main, um, oxygen is off. I dare turn that on just just because I might blow my computer up. And it's, it is taxing on my machine right now. <laughs> Got more walkways down here. We take to the lower decks, lower parts of the decks. So we're back down on that deck now, and then heading back up. It's easier to walk up one way than it is the other up the staircases, which is kind of frustrating. And again, I think that's just down to the amount of gravity generators that are uh, cobbled together. But let's jump back out here. Oh, actually, what was through here? We've got just more staircases that head further on down. And I think they go outside. Oh no, we're in a blue room now. Oh god. Oh, is this the room we were just in? Yeah, this is the room. We were just in this room? Yeah, we were. So that, that, that we've actually gone back the way we came. Everything looks very, very similar, and there's no signpost, so I'm not sure where I'm going. So we walked up here and then actually um, sort of went off on our own little tangent. But if we pass through these doors and then we keep passing through these ones. We'll get to some exits where we can fly around and have a look at the other rods and sods. So let's fly because... Oh, wow. I actually thought that was a... Well, it is a legitimate cannon, but it's it doesn't rotate, but he's actually made them look like legitimate cannons, like dual cannons. That's cool. I like that. We've got, again, look at all this space we have just for more ships. It is just insane, this top deck. We've even got cranes that I use for most likely moving stuff around, moving moving stock and moving things off ships and moving ships around. And these are accessible as well, so we, can, we can't control them, but obviously we can jump in and access other things. And we've got these towers here, which give you access to the turrets if you need to repair them. We've even got walkways around the sides. Everywhere has access, which is just great. And then we have this, which is of course where the, um, where the action happens. This is where obviously you'd captain this thing from up in here so it's very much like oh my god oh it's very much like a a proper destroyer in the way this part's designed i mean holy shit balls it is is laggy in here but yeah and what i might do just to help out with um the crying my computer's i'm going to turn all the lights off and instantly I get 60 frames back. So it is literally all the lights that generate that lag. So bear in mind if you do want to use this craft because you are a complete psycho. Um, yeah, this ship, just turn the lights off. Everything's dandy. I've gone back up to 60 frames again there. We've got these massive shower blocks and stuff. And this is like for crew, obviously, for the ship. Um, so all of this is self-contained. I can't get up these stairs. That's sad. Uh, we've got more areas here, which is uh, again ship control. I mean, we've got a second floor of all this, and you can see out of the ship, which gives you really, really good visibility for everything. We've even got turrets that defend for um, the higher clearance sections, like this section, which I'm guaranteeing is where you'd fly the ship from because we have these control seats. But there is also a section up top as well. So we've got like different clearance accesses for these, like red barriers, yellow barriers and stuff and they're obviously trying to lead you to where you can and can't go as a person so let's fly up here, this is obviously red again so I'm guessing the red is like super super duper important, you are the captain now fly the ship 
And uh, yeah, this is totally where you'd captain this from. It's totally. And look at it turn. Oh, oh. I mean, it looks just amazing from external. It is just a beautiful beast. And if I zoom in, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to catch myself a nice screenshot here. It is just an absolute goliath of the craft. And Dickie and whoever else has contributed to this is just a, a very patient person. That's all I can say because patience with builds is something... I don't have a lot of with Imperion at the moment just because of painting things like you build something you're really happy with it and then you have to paint it and that's like a, a, a few more errors but it's like a love affair with with ships like we even got farms here oh wow look at this so it is like a bit of a love affair with ships like this because obviously you put all the time and effort into building them and then you got to paint them or you paint them as you go it just takes so much time out of your day and uh, we've got like nice kitchen quarters here actually, look at this, got like a nice seating arrangement. Again, I'm not keen on the yellow walls and all that other stuff. Um, I like the bedroom areas and all that other good ones. I'm guessing this is bathrooms, yes, yeah. so this is toilet, these will be the toilets, yeah, but the showers. I do like these crew quarters because they are very, very modern. But again, the yellow furniture isn't my, my cup of tea. And I like how we've got all these other rooms that just continue on round. It's really, really nicely done, and this again, this would be like your officer quarters and stuff like that. These are a lot, a lot more modern, a lot more posh, and this one even caters for a lot more people. So I want to be in the captain's quarters, and this one would probably be would would be for all the officers where they chill out and and whatever. And then we push this way, this way. Okay, and where where are we now? Uh, we're out on the upper decks and we're gonna have to fly up the staircases again because of gravity and then we're back at here oh, right, okay so we've got like another oh wow and then we go onto the rear of the ship Ooh, Jesus so what what can we do up here besides park a ship like that's a small enough spot that you could park a ship on so I think then we've got antennas some more gun placements and you can even walk all the way up these stairs to the top and uh, and see what the crack is and repair your guns and stuff. Again, I probably missed a lot of stuff in this. I don't want to make it too long just because I know how taxing it is on you guys watching these things and hearing me drone on. But you can see the, the effort and just, yeah, I'm super, super impressed with this. It, it obviously isn't finished yet because there's so much unfinished room. Um, it probably, I, I'm not sure whether it's going to remain unfinished or whether it's just going to be something just to say, look what you can do in Imperion. But seriously, this ship is beyond anything I've seen before. I thought I saw some big ships with the Earth shine, but a, a class 105 ship is just a complete beast. And again, this is probably not practical for any sort of survival environment, but just just go and check it out if you've got the computer to do it it is awesome um, if you guys have enjoyed the video please go and check this out on the workshop i'll leave a link to it in the description below if you've enjoyed the video overall give me a thumbs up if you haven't you know where the button is comment for anything else you want me to see be it yours or somebody else's on the workshop and i'll see you guys later peace